<laughs> See this man behind us? If he didn't start, I probably wouldn't have started. <laughs> so that's a big thing. The Funky Farmer, if there's no Funky no, Farmer, there'd probably I'm be not, no Tom Pepper. No, I'm sure they would have been Tom. Right. We are on our Tom Pemberton adventure. The boys behind me are packing, well Jack's packing. Harry's trying to download, what are you trying to download? Videos. Which one? Loads. Which one is it you particularly download? This farm in life? Yes. He's trying to download this farm in life for the journey. I am, um, we are just gonna get ourselves sorted. We are just leaving Liverpool and our Premier Inn. And we've got a, uh, about an hour's drive, I think. We, we're actually meeting Tom at uh, about two o'clock at the farm. Mm -hmm. um, so we've got a bit of time. We're going to stop off on the way for something to eat for lunch. Um, and then meet him, for, meet him at uh, two o'clock at the farm shop. We're going to phone him when I get to the farm shop. I'm a little bit nervous, to be honest, because... Ooh, that's bright behind, isn't it? Because although I've spoken to him on the phone, he is... He's he's turned into a bit of a superstar for farming, isn't he? He's just won is it a Farming Hero Awards, I think, the uh, Farmer's Guide and Heart Farmer's Hero Award. He won it last week. I didn't know that. I arranged this, this trip up there ages ago, and here we are now, going to see him, and his whole world is sort of expanding, as it were, into the media and everything all the time. Uh, so it'd be lovely to go and see the chap. Hope to hope to see his dad. I have no idea whether his dad's there. I have no real idea what we're going to do when we get there. I just said, oh, we'll pop in um, and we'll try and do a little bit of filming together. I don't I don't know what we're going to do, do whether he'll be up for a, a bit of a tour around the farm. Uh, who knows? So we're going to crack on now. I'm driving. My wife, Sam, Sam has gone back on the train back to uh, South Gloucestershire. <laughs> and me and the boys, we're on our own now. We've got a couple of days in Blackpool and they're packing. This is a dad, lad, couple of days. Could go horribly wrong, couldn't it? You got is that your Liverpool kit? Yeah. You got your new yeah, top on, haven't you? There as well. New top. Yeah, I don't think there's stuff in there because it's sort of actually fit in with me. Right, nice. So you alright, Hazza? Yeah. All right, let's go. Just getting ready to go. What do you think about meeting Tom Pemberton? It's gonna be really good. Are you looking forward to that? Yeah. You've waited a while for this, haven't you? Yeah. Not many people get this chance, do they? About maybe two or three years. Yeah. What about you, Jack? I'm looking forward to it, but I'm not sure as much as Harry. Yours your day was yesterday, Liverpool, yeah. wasn't it? And your day was the Beatles. My day was the Beatles. Well, my day's Tom Pemberton as well. Well, yeah. I'm but... excited about that. Right, let's go. Right, we just had a little stop over at the National Trust place. Oh, and Harry's been on the loopy juice. Are you right there, Harry? Yeah. Right, we are about 40 minutes from Tom's. Are you yep. right there? So we're going to head off now, cracking on, aren't we? Yeah. excited about this. Quick stop over for some snacks because we're going to Blackpool after this and we thought we need some uh, snacks for our hotel room when we're watching TV tonight. Um, we're 10 minutes from Tom's. Uh, so I, we're going to turn up there. I'm not sure what I'm going to do about filming when we first arrive because I'm sort of a little bit... It's a bit of a weird one. So we're both known for what we do farming and vlogging so we're both used to filming each other but I kind of also feel a bit like do you know I'll probably have some time with him just chatting so I might film when we first get there or I might just turn the camera off afterwards just said hello I'm not sure but I will there will be some chats off camera as well it's not all about vlogging you know you just want to relax don't you without someone sticking a camera in front of you but uh we're off to Tom's now oh have you got a polo hey. for me let me just drop your polo I'll have that half a polo thank you Half a polo is better than no polo. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What? You're right, Donut. <laughs> I'm a right, Donut. Right, let's go. Oh, brilliant. This is just, just about to arrive. We're, only, we're, only, we're not very far away and it's chucking it down. Oh, we come up north. I might have expected it. It's grim up north, me. Eh? <laughs> up north. Oh, it'd be raining loads at home, can't it? Yeah, floods. Oh. Quarter of a mile, turn right. Take the next right, then you will arrive at your destination. Here we are. Wow. Hamilton's farm shop. Alright, I'll park my car somewhere. Where you have arrived. 
We have arrived. We have arrived. We have arrived. <laughs> right, we are here. We, we have arrived at the legendary Pemberton's farm. Look at this, there's the farm shop over there. It's wet and horrible. Now then, do you think, I, look at this, even says on that sat, sat nav, we are done. Should we ring him up? Yep. Right, we just sort this out. Hello mate, I am outside your farm shop. Lovely job, see you in a minute. Right. Here he comes. Which way do you think he'll come? Not sure. There's a lot going on here. Don't Will he come through the shop? No, he won't go through the Raw shop. Raw milk station there. He'll come that way. Come from the house. He might be having his He's lunch. steaming up. Have you just put your fingers all over the nope. window? Well, who has then? Jack. Oh, automatic. Oh. Like he could be in that car. Is that a car that just turned I, up? I don't know. It says farmer on the number plate. That would be a bit of a coincidence, don't you think? What do you reckon? You know. Is that a Tom Pemberton car? I don't know what car he's got. Neither do I. We'll see in a minute. I reckon that's him. That number plate. Probably. <gasps> there he is! Oh, he's there. <laughs> I got it. I got it turned on, mate. I'm sorry. I'll turn this off in a minute. <laughs> Good afternoon. How are you doing? Finally, we meet up. Finally, we meet. Right. Hello. How are you doing? Well, I'm going to turn this off a second because when you first speak to someone, it is rubbish having a. You know what it's like. I'm, I'm used to it. For you spot, the one person in life is probably going to be used to it. Well, I, I did say I've just done a bit on the, as we pulled in up down there, and I did say it's really weird because there's two of us. <laughs> our, we, our job is basically farming and vlogging. Yeah, yeah. And, yeah. and if the two people to meet up to do this, we're kind of all right with it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But I'm going to. I'll just turn this off a second, a minute. All right. <laughs> Here he is, the man. All right. I've got to ask you something, Andrew. I've no money. How sharp's your knife, mate? Eh? Yeah, come on then. Sharper than mine. Come on, show us. Show us. <laughs> oh, that's pretty Look, good. Move your finger there. <laughs> no, 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 no. Yeah. I, I think, I yeah. Mine's, um, yours is blunt. Mine, yeah. mine is blunt, yeah. That, that was, that was you, yeah. you challenging yeah. me, fair play, all those <laughs> no, years ago. Exciting. We love a big reveal. So I'm going to look. I start cutting, you start cutting, and I'll start pulling. I'll try and cut. Similar to um, the Funky Farmer. Don't oh. know what I mean now. So you see so, him cut the other day. So dad, dad, dad's been watching Richard. He opened his plant the other day. Said, and dad, dad was like, he needs to sharpen his knife. Hey, you are. Look at that, Richard. <laughs> the Funky Farmer is calling you. Like, well, because it, you actually should have you just pulled it off plastic. And You're it right. Cuts, like, stink. Really I, like, I, I did the same as you. Yeah, was it Saturday in. afternoon? Yeah, just one, and my knife it. one. If you didn't realise, we did the bail off challenge and it was yeah, down to you. Knife, he was, said to me, I my knife was blood. blood. And that's how it all started. I know, and then we went off round doing it, it all went viral. That's very good. You're, you're being working today. Look at me, I'm all. Oh, up. Please, I have all well is. I've not been working. What have you been I'm on this morning? Working. I've got two jobs. I've been in the dairy work, which yeah. is still waiting to finish. Slurrying. Right, oh, and I've Christ. been in the office chasing uh, feed analysis and. Uh, oh, oh, like yeah, oh, oh, okay. Okay. I, I absolutely prices. hate. Oh, we're on a fixed contract for cake till oh, April, yeah. 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 We don't tell yeah, It's not good though. <laughs> <laughs> Let me just turn this off and I'll tell him how much. Well, these two are chatting. We just oh, we just had a oh, chat. Right. No, I so. I'm going to get my wellies on before we do a little talk. There we go. There we go. I'm going to just talk to you a second. Go so, on, how do me. you find this? All this YouTube and your son here has taken the world by storm. Um, I mean, you obviously like we've all known it before. He was well known. How, how have you? How has it changed? Well, first, your I didn't thing? understand anything about. Yeah. It, and it wasn't in my uh, brain set or whatever, you know. But as I've as it's gone, I've realised how important it is, and not just for us at this level yeah. these kids this is what these are the ones that are benefiting from it because yeah, they're picking that's up very a lot true. more and they won't watch telly but they're on their ipads on the phones they can watch youtube and the, the, some of the content is more realistic than they ever put on telly because yeah. telly's so scripted to totally right it's so scripted totally whereas we're right. not scripted at all even though you might think we are i know it's what it is and um, that's right. you know, we, we try and show it as it is so that's the advantage of YouTube. It's really nice that you support 
Thomas. Tom, and just make him, <laughs> you know, back him all the way, because that's what but, you need, isn't it? Yeah, oh. I think... And you're lucky your dad's here to support yeah, well, you, well, really. Yeah, but I've always said I'm the luckiest person out. I'm the man in the middle, and Tom knows this, because I worked with my father all my life, yeah. and I looked up to him. I know. And he was very good at doing mm. what he did until he got poorly. Mm. And now I look down this hill to my son, and I see my father in my son. So I'm thinking, I'm a lucky man. He's yeah. not missing out. So, you know, I'm, I worked with my dad for 40 years. Yeah. That's amazing. Oh. You are so lucky if you get that opportunity. Well, it's the knowledge you pass on. Particularly it's bloody annoying at some point, though, yeah. some, oh, sometimes. Oh, but, yeah, you know, we all know that. There is but, frustrations you know. and there's a little bit of argument. Not arguments, discussions. We don't yeah. have arguments, we have discussions. But it's frustrating because one wants to go one way, one wants to yeah. go the other. However, all but I what a see, wonderful experience. All I can see is what Thomas is planning for the next, well, his five-year plan or thereabouts, yeah. is nothing but good. Not just for himself yeah. and us as a family, but for the industry. That's right. And you've got to think the Well, you're credit to the industry. And hang on, on that note... Watch out, watch out, watch out. Yeah, it's it's a good you got that award, didn't you, Friday? Oh, yeah, Let's talk so, about that. I'm, yeah, so... I, I will just say something, right? I've just turned up here. I have no script. I have no plan. We're just going to chat with Tom and his dad <laughs> as we go. Sorry. So you... Well, let's tell, tell us what yeah, happened. So uh, last Thursday with the Farmers Guardian, fortunately, uh, I got nominated for by the farm, the editors uh, for the Farming Hero, uh, the Farming Hero Award for flying the flag for British farming. So Jeremy Clarkson won it last year. Uh, I very fortunately won it this year. But like Dad says, it's a whole team effort. Like here, yeah. I'm very fortunate that I can do what I can do um, because we'll have the time to do it, and I can kind of yeah. promote British farming. So yeah, it's amazing. And the big thing is we thought about. If I employed him four years ago, and the amount of time he spent doing it, he'd have been sacked. You know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, now you've got a big shiny new shed on you. Yeah. <laughs> and you know what? Yeah. And next, here we go. Have a wagon load to unload, so you can work yeah. around with Richard. I'll just get this All out right. of the way. I'll catch you in a bit. Oh, no, we'll right. catch you anyway. Yeah. Uh, but, what I was say is um, a big thing as well. Uh, so you see this man behind us. If he didn't start. I probably wouldn't have started. So that's a big thing. The funky farmer, if there's no funky oh, farmer, there'd probably I'm be no Tom Pepper. No, I'm sure there would have been Tom. 100%. You're just, you're but, just... Yeah, well, it was, it was good. It was a good inspiration for you. 100%. Yeah, it's yeah, nice yeah. to know you watched it. I, yeah. did, well, I did as well. I think I, I started know. watching it yeah. 25 to 30,000. I, um, I was there. I, don't, I mean, I tell you what, this is the interesting thing about doing vlogging and all this stuff. You do not know where you reach, do you? No, no, no. And I, I'm sure you're the same. I've had some lovely letters, emails of people that have told you their life stories. Yeah. Some people have had really hard lives and difficult situations. And they, they relate to us, like, they know us, don't they? And yeah, it's yeah, a so funny they, thing. Like, um, we, what they say to, to you, yeah, just probably yourself as well, says, I know everything about you, you I know nothing about I know. me. Which is crazy, isn't it? And don't you find it strange when you walk around to certain places, like, especially if you go to agricultural show and that, people all double-taking you <laughs> yeah. and, and look at you. And then uh, we went to the Royal Welsh and they would want selfies with you and stuff. Yeah. And it's really weird, because inside, we're just the same people, aren't we? Yeah. We're just normal. I don't know how they recognise me. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't know how they recognise me. I have to tell you me. something, Andrew, right? <laughs> I've been nominated to do this, uh, is it Movember thing? The, yeah, the right, yeah, yeah. Now, I know you guys did it before. Yeah, yeah, I tried. I'm looking at you and I'm thinking, this is going to be me. Because you've got a ginger moustache <laughs> and blonde yeah, hair. Proper. That, gonna... I was red. I was redder than what, him. What, like that? Oh, were no, you? really red. Has he gone blonder as he got older? The yeah. Yeah. So that's the colour, baby. But it's I reckon my moustache would be like, that, like oh, yours. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, well, why not? I've had it for 20, uh, 45 Have years, really. Oh, yeah, yeah. Anyway, what I was going to say, the yeah. most important thing about the YouTube, because we've been going on through these mm. difficult times, yeah. and I think it's very important that people realise, us farmers, we've never stopped. No, we, can't we haven't. Stop. We've never no, stopped. No, 100%. Covid's been a, a, a restriction on our ability to go out yeah. and do other things, but we've still had to get up every day, and the I cattle know. need looking after, That's whether right. you felt poorly or not, or I there's know. a member of staff that may have Covid, you've had to arrange the cattle been fed, the cattle been milked. As farmers, it's very important. And we're getting less and less. I know. Farmers aren't as many because... I know. We're shrinking, aren't we? We're shrinking as an industry numbers. We're having to do more work to feed more That's people right. for less money. Very true. Everyone else. Or so if we should... Well, you can get on your high horse here. I'm, 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 well, I'm that's good to get on a high I love getting on my high horse myself. That's my, I, I'm soapbox. Yeah, we've well, got to be like, done, isn't it? Well, Someone's got to stand up for us, our when, industry. When, 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 well, they did this farm ever shot. We I know. never shot. 100%. 365. Well, I'll tell you what, yourself. even though I'm on holiday, my phone's been going with issues I've had yeah. to sort out. Yeah. It never leaves you, does no, it? No, no, because because you generally can sort them out. Yeah, I know, I've got... been doing that yeah. from Liverpool, sat in, <laughs> sat in a Premier Inn, sorting out, right, okay, what's, oh, flipping yeah. it. 
you know? generally can sort them out because yeah. they've relied on you. That's and right. As an industry, I think we're a very important, the health industry and everything else, but the car industry is shut down, the steel industry, all the transport industry is shut down. We couldn't afford to shut down. No. When we wanted stuff, we had to source it high. What oh, do you, what, what, as we say, need? if something happens, what do you need? You need feeding, you need health. Yeah, yes. yeah. That's true. feeding. So we're still expected to feed the nation no matter what. Yeah. And let's let's hope people appreciate it. And I'll bang on that drum for a while. So how did you get to that drum? How do we, because I was mentally thinking <laughs> we about... Off, we're how we have got to get to a drum where we have a moat. You know how I got to it? Because <laughs> when I was driving back from uh, Birmingham last week and you made such a wonderful speech in your way, I thought, well, I'm going to have to say something. Thank some you little chairman of Little Farmers and people are going to expect me to say something radical <laughs> to match <laughs> you. Yeah. So I'm, I'm going to work on You this. need your own channel, don't you? I think you need and Andrew's, so it, Andrew's <laughs> Soapbox. <laughs> well, it'll just be no, a get go uh, Andrew's yeah. Soapbox. You should do it once a month. Well, I do have my moments. Yeah. Um, but okay. Hi. Right. He's off. Well, you will do, isn't it? Yeah, well, I'm going to bash off and unload this wagon. Yeah. And I'll go a bit of slope. We'll have a look around, look at the, look at the stock, Thank look you. at the feed. He's no. lucky because he's lucky because he's got me. Hang I on. Know. He's lucky because this year we've been able to expand uh, our acreage we've rented. Yeah. And we've only only since we opened this first cut clamp up that we've actually been into any of this year's forage. Right. We've still feeding some of last year's That's forage. That's brilliant. Right? I haven't got anything left from last so, year. That all went in the spring. So as I've said on quite a few uh, videos, he said, mm. we've still got a bit of flesh on our backs. So yeah, we haven't got any. Haven't. We haven't got we, any. So we're lucky. However, with 350 other cattle about, they're yeah. going to eat them. I know. So. Well, we're going to have a look. Yeah, so it's, it's looking after the priority cattle. Yeah. which is your milking cows and then your heifers that's exactly and that's right it. and those are that's priority right. and that's they need the time and the money spending on them the yeah. others they can bodge through yeah. maybe stay out a bit longer eat a bit of this rough stuff but we have to look after them yeah Right. We can see how he's learned to talk. <laughs> no, you see, just, we were just chatting, saying it's. You can see how I've got so good at editing. Uh, <laughs> I haven't. <laughs>